Do you agree that these are the two players who could make sense for Chiefs in next wave of free agency? But first, I would like to say that if you, like me, are a fanatical fan of the Kansas City Chiefs, subscribe to the channel, because I will always bring you daily news about the best team in the NFL, our beloved Chiefs. Things have slowed down after the initial wave of signings during the 2023 NFL free agency period. Just over a week removed from the start of the legal tampering period, the majority of the top free agents around the NFL have been signed. Teams are now hunting for bargains and the remaining players available are recognizing that their markets probably aren't exactly what they'd hoped for. With all of that in mind, here's a look at two available players who could make sense for the Kansas City Chiefs in the next wave of free agency. The first player would be W.R. Keel Harry. The wide receiver market is virtually barren outside of Odell Beckham Jr. and a few others, but there is at least one intriguing buy low candidate on the market. We've learned over the years that there's nothing that Chiefs GM Brett Beach likes more than a first-round reclamation project. His best season came in 2020 when he caught 33 passes for 309 yards and two scores. Harry's career amounts to bust status so far, but he showed some flashes in limited opportunities with the Bears last season. Harry met with the Chiefs at the Combine ahead of the 2019 NFL Draft, so it's not like having a level of interest in him would be too out of the ordinary. He could have a chance to recreate the narrative surrounding his career on a one-year deal in Kansas City. Do you also agree with this? Leave it in the comments. The other player would be T.E. or Smith Jr. With the wide receiver market looking scarce, some have suggested the Chiefs pivot and invest in the tight end position. They were one of the NFL leaders in 12 and 13 personnel groupings by the season's end last year. Smith missed the 2021 NFL season with a knee injury and only appeared in eight games last season, plus the wildcard round, due to a high ankle sprain suffered in Week 8. He caught 26 passes for 185 yards and three touchdowns. Despite the injuries, he's still quite young, turning just 25 years old before the 2023 season. Do you think it makes sense for the Chiefs to sign these players? Leave it in the comments. We have reached the end of another video. Check if you subscribed to the channel and left a like on the video. Until the next news.